Hi guys, welcome to Travel with Austin. I'm Austin. Today we are here in Atlanta, Georgia, and we are in the world of Coke. Now this is a tourist attraction in downtown Atlanta. It is of course called World of Coke, because if you did not know, Coca-Cola is in fact from Atlanta, Georgia. Now this is a very interesting thing because it's kind of like a Coca-Cola theme park slash museum slash, if we're, if we're being completely honest, a giant advertisement slash propaganda for Coca-Cola. However, I am a huge Diet Coke fan. Anyone who knows me knows this. And I definitely wanted to check this out while I was in the city. So let's go ahead and talk about it a bit. Um, talk about what you can see and maybe give you some tips. So first of all, when you first enter, you will enter into this room that you're seeing right now. You'll be given a brief presentation and then you will enter a movie theater where you basically watch a six minute Coke ad. Um, you cannot record that ad. You can record everything else though. And then you are set free inside the building. Now some of the exhibits are the scent exhibit, which is the one that I am entering right now, where you get to smell different scents and you know, try to identify them and see how they interact with your favorite flavors of Coke products. And then again, here is more of the area. This is where you smell the different flavors, um, guess what they are, and guess what products they're in. There are also lots of cool painted Coke bottles around. There is a 3D movie. You can take a picture with the polar bear. Um, there is now something called the Beverage Lab, which talks a bit about, you know, different beverages and how they're made. Unfortunately, I did not get footage of that. But it is really interesting. Um, at the end of that, you can try New Coke, the failed flavor from the 80s, Tab, and then what they say is a secret drink that hasn't been released yet. And I'm going to be honest, I don't know if the secret drink changes, but that was by far my favorite. It was kind of like a carbonated high C um, orange lava burst. Now, there's also this area where you can learn about the history of Coke as well as see some historic artifacts, such as that Coke truck. Um, you can take a look at all the different bottles. You know, there are some games, like this one where you can test your skill at getting the weight exactly right. Another look at this beautiful, beautiful Coca-Cola truck that they had. And this area just kind of contains a ton of Coke merchandise, some games, and cool things. I really do love these lamps as well. Now, as we're continuing to walk through here, I will also say that you should be um, mindful of how much time you have when you come here. Coke does say that the average time spent here is about two hours. However, I would say probably plan for more than that because the place gets filled very quickly. Um, there were lots of school groups when I went, and as you can see, sometimes you do have to wait for people, you know, to take photos and stuff, so that will slow you down a bit. Now, there are also certain things, such as the 3D movie, that only play at certain times, um, so you definitely need to keep that in mind. While they do say two hours is enough time, and the average amount of time, I would budget slightly more. And, again, here is some of the Coca-Cola and the Olympics collaboration. If you didn't know, the 1996 Olympics were held in Atlanta, Georgia. So, you know, they have stuff like that. They have racing stuff. They have all of these different um, medals slash badges that I believe are all from soccer. And again, stuff such as their best-selling brands, some of their other brands around the world. And then, of course, the next area that we are going to see is probably the most popular, and that is the Coca-Cola Vault. So this is really interesting because it kind of tells the secret, or it tells the history of the secret of Coca-Cola and the secret recipe and you get to go through this area, and it's kind of cool because it is designed like, hey, you're going into this highly secure place. And in a way, you actually are. Um, 
and you know there's a lot of history on the walls stuff like that now unfortunately as you are about to see when i went this was insanely crowded um you couldn't really move that well or anything like that which i have to admit was a bit of a bummer um, because you couldn't properly take anything in really now i should say this place is very popular with school groups there were multiple schools here when I was here visiting, um, and that is part of the reason why it is so crowded. But this area is really cool because you get to take a look around, and you learn about, you know, Coca-Cola, its history, the secret. Um, you get to learn a bit about Asha Chandler, and at the very end of this area, you get to see the actual vault. Now, apparently, since 2011, this is where the actual Coca-Cola secret formula has been kept. Um, here in the world of Coke, inside the vault of Coke, as you go deeper in, you will actually get to a place called the vault of the secret formula. And you can see the vault right in front of me. It is an actual metal vault. There is a handprint thing on it, multiple dials to twist and turn. However, you're not technically supposed to touch it. However, as you can tell, pretty much everyone was. Um, and while Coke has security in this area, they didn't really do much for the people who were touching it. However, if they did get too close, a loud voice would boom, telling people to step away from the vault. Which is honestly pretty cool. Now, outside of this... There was an experience that was closed at the time I was here that I believe shows off the bottling process. And then the other thing that is here is everyone's favorite exhibit, which is Taste It. I believe it is 130 different types of Coke products that you can taste from all around the world here, including a Coke that kind of tastes like barbecue sauce, some great flavors of Fanta, a banana soda, and everyone's favorite, Beverly. <laughs> Anyway, that is all I have for you guys today. I definitely recommend checking out the World of Coke if you want something touristy to do and you like Coca-Cola. And hey, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe. And I will see you guys next time with a brand new video. Thanks for watching.